it's almost time for summer and I'm really looking forward to showing you guys my outdoor terrace as well as bringing some of our tech coverage to the outdoors. I'm looking forward to so many amazing activities including sports, food and drink. You want to spend more time doing the things that you enjoy and less time lawn mowing. So today we're going to be talking about the Sunseeker Orion X7 robotic lawnmower that will automate this entire process and allow you to spend more times doing the things that you love with a nicely groomed lawn whenever you're ready to have a party. But in the honor of home tech, we've checked out a lot of different things, including robot vacuums, window cleaners, stuff for the bathroom, as well as in the kitchen, coffee tech as well. And I really do try to cover every aspect of home technology possible. And today we're taking a look at something that I've never checked out before. And this right here is a robotic lawnmower. It's from Sunseeker and it is their brand new Orion X7. And it's their latest generation of robotic lawnmower that has all of the features, including all wheel drive, a binocular system of cameras, weather resistance, satellite technology, and it also has an incredible app that allows you to program everything specifically in terms of the path, the pattern, the cut, and we're gonna be talking all about it. So I'm gonna be doing a small area in this backyard just to show you the difference between lawn that has been mowed and hasn't been mowed. And this is lawn that is kind of moderately well kept. It hasn't been grown for months and months, but at the same time, there are some weeds and inconsistencies here and there. And so we're really gonna be putting this to the test. So some of the cool functions and cool tech in honor of our series is the whole positioning system. And the way it is set up is super smart. It uses an RTK GNSS satellite positioning and VSLAM visual technology system, which work together as part of the AO Navi navigation system to deliver precise positioning accuracy and allow for a more consistent and uninterrupted workflow without worry of signal loss and instability. The binocular camera system is also able to scan the surrounding environment for obstacles and using deep learning algorithms, it is able to consistently improve and get smarter over time to be more efficient. And as you can see from the setup process itself, it is super simple and doesn't require physical wires to set boundaries like other robot lawnmowers. You control the robot lawnmower manually throughout the edges of the boundaries of the space and it knows the general area and it continues to improve that through learning and AI over time to avoid any given obstacles whether they are permanent or temporary while also going along the edges of any given space to ensure it is able to get right up to it. As you can see here, we've set up a sequence in the backyard and have it go in consistent paths. And what I liked about it is that even whenever I sent it back to the home base to film and stuff, it was able to go back out, identify where it has left off and also confirm its readings through the camera. And so if it's already mowed a certain area, it will find the line and find the path and continue onwards. And after just like 30 minutes, it has mowed this entire patch. And as you can see from the aerials, it actually did a really consistent, good job. And so I'm really impressed because this is my very first time using anything like this. I'm not someone who spends a lot of time outdoors and I definitely don't want to cut the grass. In fact, I have a bit of an allergy to it, but this was really, really impressive. And I would say that it really does automate the entire process after you set it up properly. And the setup process is really important and one that is kind of a given because every backyard is different. There are different obstacles and edges and with the actual setup process and the satellite it is able to map out the distances and the perception of space really, really well. You also don't have to worry about things such as theft because there is a passcode that is built in and so you have to go and enable it manually to be able to have it start its routine at any given time. The all-wheel drive was able to navigate all the terrains really nicely. You can just see from the size of the tires on the side as well as the spinning one on the front here, which also allows it to turn around with ease and the ruggedness of the tires allow for better stability and control and enables the Sunseeker to better navigate diverse terrains without slipping and even conquer slopes of up to 35 degrees. It is able to follow a really strong path no matter the elevation or the obstacle and it's also able to rotate really quickly. From a durability standpoint, this is also rainproof. Obviously, it has to live outside and in an open place. And so if it gets wet, you don't have to worry about it. And if it gets dirty, you just go ahead and use a garden hose and you're good to go. As for the cutting itself, you can see that it was overall very consistent. And it's thanks to the dual blades that cut to ensure that every spot is hit. The dual plates have a cutting width of 14 inches and are able to mow up to three acres with ease and are twice as efficient compared to traditional lawnmowers. 
and it also does a good job of going over overlaps to ensure you have a consistent mowing and also follows the specific pattern. When it comes to the setup process, it was super simple. I went ahead and plugged it into a place where I had a one and a half meter radius all around it through a semicircle, and in this case, it was just right next to the patio. In addition to that, I went ahead and plugged in the satellite, which you also have to have in an open space, and the satellite is what it uses to give it the precise precisioning after the calibration process. The calibration process was also super quick. I used the joystick built into the app and navigated along the perimeters of the garden, and from there, it was able to save that map, and in conjunction with the camera and the satellite, it is able to know that and also improve it over time. So everything is controlled through the app right here, just like any robot product. And you can see the path that I've created for it. It shows all the areas it has gone before. And I was actually able to customize everything from the zone, different areas to prioritize, and also specific settings such as the cutting height and the rotation speed through the app itself. The multi-zone management allows you to set boundaries for different areas such as your front yard and backyard, and also set no-go zones for obstacles or areas you want to avoid. The advanced map management system allows you to manage multiple work areas and tackle even the most complex gardens. So when it comes to the overall experience of using the Sunseeker Orion X7, I mean, I really didn't have any issues at all. The setup process was actually a lot smoother than I expected, and I knew going into it, with any product like this, there are gonna be more variables being something in the outdoors. The only disadvantage I would say is that it doesn't actually collect the grass. And so it does just cut it, but it doesn't do the collection aspect. And so if you want to collect the grass, then you're gonna have to do that separately or just leave it in place. And so in the future, I'm hoping that the future generations will have the collection function as well. And I mean, that is what makes home tech so exciting. It's getting smarter, it's getting better, and eventually it'll continue to get more affordable as well. And this is just an amazing example of an innovative product that leads its industry of robot lawnmowers while still remaining relatively home friendly for anyone's front or back lawn. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I also have a tour of my terrace coming up very soon. I'm just adding some final touches and there's going to be some surprises, so stay tuned. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comment section below what you think, and I'll see you all in the next one.